Pays as and here today and in today's video we will be discussing a topic that has been quite prevalent with the Sonic Frontiers basically and yeah it's been got honestly it hasn't even gone with Sonic Frontiers man it's been going on like for a long long time now and while this might seem harmless at first once I explain it all and just talk about it in today's video I will show you why what we're going to talk about in today's video and probably what you've seen in the title let's be honest is only going to hurt this franchise and is a lot worse than you think. And that topic is criticism in the Sonic fan base. So, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's discuss why criticism is actually good in the Sonic franchise. Right, so, the reason I even bring this topic up is because of recent events, and that is mostly to with Sonic Frontiers. I mean, it has been going on for like a while since, I think probably like Forces or something where you have one person who just criticizes something small like not not even that huge of a game there's something small about a game and then when you have that person criticizing you then have like a whole mob of sonic fans coming from out of nowhere saying what what, what are you doing d just stop just stop criticizing man you're, just a, you're such a hater man like, the game's not even out you're like calm down and then when sonic force did come out and it turned out that um it was worse than we thought um, yeah, those people were like, oh, stop criticizing, man, you're just a hater. Uh, they decided to go silent for some reason, and, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we all know why, because Forces was a mediocre mess, and some of them even say bad, and to be honest, I can kind of understand that, but, anyways, that trope with Sonic fans, for some reason, hasn't died down after Forces, and is carrying on with Sonic Frontiers, and it really just baffles me, if you've been totally honest, I mean, have Sonic fans, like, well, some Sonic fans, anyways, not learn the less after forces i mean clearly that showed that criticism is good because it turned out to be true people complained about the level design of sonic forces when we saw gameplay and everything people complained about class sonic being kind of pointless in the game and when people said to those people that oh stop criticizing it turned out to be true and those criticisms were extremely valid and for some reason people just don't understand that criticism is good for some reason they just think that criticism is all of a sudden bad just because you're saying something bad and anything negative just should just be thrown out of the window because it's not allowed for some reason and i really hate to be that guy and just offend well sort of offend people but those people who do that are just plain stupid i'm sorry like i understand that you don't want to be overly negative all the time because yeah it gets a bit annoying i, ca I can't deny that but being overly positive is also a very unlikable trait and does it do much good? You need a good balance between negativity, well, well not negativity, realism and positivity. Because not everything is a sunshine and rainbows as we've clearly seen in the past with Colors Ultimate and everything where people saying that, you know, maybe we'll fix all the issues before the game comes out, but then when the game came out, obviously, we were proved very, very wrong. And some people may not realize this, but being just extremely positive and just denying all criticisms and things that are bad about a game is honestly more toxic than just being completely negative and just denying everything good in my opinion because say for example we had an entire sonic fan base that was just entirely positive and that it made no criticism at all and then we have sega putting out crappy sonic games every single year like sonic forces and because obviously it would be entirely positive fan base with no criticism at all sega will never improve as a company their games will never improve either all because we have a fan base that is entirely positive and just doesn't give the critiques when needed without criticism sega as a company cannot grow criticism is necessary for anything and don't get me wrong there is definitely a limit when it comes to negativity you kind of start just thinking bad of every single situation because sometimes that is just completely stupid when you do say something like that especially we have many points to go back that up and say that that person is wrong but like i said earlier when a person is just overly positive and and just doesn't consider the bad side to things that's when problems arise i also think this whole thing with criticism with sonic frontiers start with the sonic frontiers model and the fact that many people are complaining about they don't want the force model saying that it's gonna ruin the whole game and everything because it's got the force model in frontiers and then i'm pretty sure i saw like loads of people saying on twitter and in my usual comment section as well that people are just complaining for no reason and just enjoy the game let people enjoy things because who cares it's just a model it's not gonna affect the whole game and this is my issue right here the fact that people can just say just let people enjoy things stop complaining over small things that that, that is just stupid 
What those people are basically saying is that, oh, your opinion differs from mine. That means it's wrong. You cannot have your own opinion. You must agree with me. That is essentially what they're saying right now. Now, you might personally like something that a person has critiqued, but that doesn't mean you should ignore that person's opinion completely because what they have to say might be logical and have some sense to it. There's always gonna be two sides to a debate and everything. And part of being in a debate is about being not biased or anything and considering both sides of the argument, seeing which is stronger and which is weaker. I'm putting this into the context of Sonic Frontiers and its model. While yes, the model what necessarily ruined the entire game, but also could, obviously he mentioned the could here, it could mean that Sonic team were kind of not bothered about how Sonic looks, the main character of the game that you're going to be playing as for God knows how long the game is, and just being a bit lazy and just taking things from Sonic Forces, the same model's been used since 2013. That does show a bit of laziness and, to be honest, this doesn't seem very far-fetched because with Sonic Forces, what they did in that game is basically took the Sonic Lost Worlds engine, reused that for Forces and made some slight edits to it to make it worse for a boost game and then yeah, you also happened with Sonic Forces, did it you? Even if you enjoy Forces, like myself, I enjoy the game, I don't love the game, I think it's mediocre, don't hate me in the comments or whatever. You can't deny that Forces was very underwhelming compared to other Sonic games. The control, level design, length, it was just, it was just very lacking. And for people to have the same worries and doubts with Sonic Frontiers because of the same reasons as Forces, shouldn't be thrown out of the realm of possibility just because that opinion disagrees with yours. And to be honest, I mostly see these overly positive people when it comes to Sonic Tubers and I'm not trying to turn this video into or all Sonic Tubers a good video. I'm not, but if Sonic fans on Twitter can bring up Sonic Tubers in every single Twitter thread when it's not even relevant, then, then so can I. Every time I see many, many Sonic Tubers is complaining about something that Sonic Frontiers has or hasn't done, I always see some group of people just complaining about that person and saying that Oh, they're always negative all the time. Oh, why are they doing this? The game's not even out yet. I mean, wh why, why are they complaining for? It just, it, it just annoys me, to be honest, because it, it's just stupid. Criticism is fine. And yes, I do understand that we haven't seen gameplay of Sonic Frontiers yet, but this same thing happened with Forces. Isn't out of the realm of possibility that history could repeat itself, and I'm not saying it will, and uh, God, I hope it doesn't. But people like me, Sonic Tubers, are allowed to have criticisms. We don't need to be called out on Twitter or anything for having different opinions to whoever, whoever's on Twitter. We all have our opinions and criticisms, and all of those things should be considered. Not put to shame by overly positive Sonic fans because that's just an unlikable trait, let's be honest here. Because not everything is sunshine and rainbows, especially in the Sonic series. Anyways, that drops it for today's video. So yes, I believe that criticism in the Sonic franchise isn't necessarily entirely bad, there's also a lot of good sides to it, and overly positive Sonic fans would just shut on any piece of criticism. I don't like those people, if I'm being totally honest. But, what do you guys think about this topic? Let me know down below. Love to see what you guys have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, especially the last one. Don't forget to become unleashed by hitting that join button down below. And remember, it is not necessary. And I'll see you all next time. Peace!